Hello, good morning, welcome along. It is a Saturday, 7th of October 2023, uh, noon, and it's a Saturday, which means it's an active seated snack. So, great to be with you. I've not been with you all week, so I hope everything is all right with you. Beautiful sunny day here. It's uh, it's glorious. Um, washing's on, third lot washing's on. <laughs> Dad's done, sorted for this morning. So, uh, just a few things I've got to do this afternoon. Back to my dad's, and then I'll be able to put my feet up. <laughs> be all right, won't we? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your Saturday morning, morning, morning movement snack. Um, that sort of borders on into the afternoon, doesn't it? Because we just hit that 12 o'clock mark and we go across into the afternoon. It's an active seated snack, so um, it's about movements that we can do in a seated position, as always. <coughs> But you could do the movements in standing if you wanted to. But we're going to focus on seated movements today. Now, have a strong sturdy chair available. Say hello to come on board and I'll see if my comments are working. I, I don't think they are. I think that's a deal I can see has popped up on the screen. So good to have you with us. A deal. This is uh, our active seated snack for a Saturday. Strength and balance. Predominantly, it's about probably more about strength in a seated position to try and get us into that standing position so that we can focus on our balance a bit more. But we can challenge our balance a little bit in a seated position. It's just difficult. It's not as it's not as easy and it's not as effective. To really challenge our balance, we need to be in a standing position. We need to feel wobbly. We need to feel unsteady. That's how we improve our balance. So who we got coming in here? Uh, hello, Dave and Snackers. Uh, nice to be, uh, nice to see you back. I can't, I can't read that far away, I'm going to have to come in. Nice to see you, long time no see. There you go. Yeah, you've been away for a while as well, haven't you, I think, Adil? You, you, you're travelling. Um, it's good to be in on a, a Saturday morning live with you. The way things work for me now, really only morning ones are the ones I can do uh, all week. And that changed a week ago as well. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Um, last week was the last week that I could do two of them and actually be at 8 o'clock all of them now are going to have to be early during the week and just the weekends will be 8am's um, change of, of way things are, are working but hey it's all good stuff isn't it it's all good stuff keeping the wolf from the door right let's see who we've got Gillian Matthews is in as well and Maddie uh, Stanger is in oh and Vivian Dickinson is in as well hi to you Gillian good to see you uh, I hope you've had a good week brilliant week thank you very much I was down at a conference for the last two days down in Cardiff um, so I spent, um, spent two days with a fabulous team that I work with and a really great and useful conference that we were at as well. So that was really good. Uh, Maddie Stanga, good morning to you. It's good to have you with us. And hello to Vivian Dickinson, who's joined us as well. So let's have a look at where we are time wise. I think we're ready for a wash, wash, ping. It is midday. If you've got comments, lose them off the bottom of the screen. And let's get ourselves ready to go with the wash, wash, ping, shall we? So, oh. Good morning, everybody. Welcome along. Uh, you with myself, Dave Montgomery from Later Life Training. It's Saturday. It's a sun, uh, an active seated Saturday, as always. It's sunny because, you know, it just is. Let's hope it stays like that for the rest of the day. So we do this this snack in a seated position. I should bring a couple of tins with you if you could. I've got mine behind me. I think I've got a tin of baked beans and no, tomato soup and spaghetti. That's what I've got. Um, so. <laughs> That's my tin sorted. I don't know what, you, what tin you've got, but that's what I've got for today. As always, uh, we need to get ourselves into a good postural position and we need to make sure that we've got a safe area to work with it. So, strong sturdy chair. Nothing in the way that can cause any issues. Bringing ourselves into a good postural position. So bring the back away from the chair so that we're sitting tall, we're supporting the upper body, not the chair supporting us. And then from there, we've got this lift and shift to bring ourselves into the front third of the jump. I'm just going to turn my chair around. I couldn't make up my mind which way to have my chair earlier, and I think it's far better this way. There we go. We lift and shift to hit, walk into the front third of the chair. Now, once we're in the front third of the chair, we can start to line everything up. So heels in line with knees, knees in line with hips. Lift to grow a little bit taller, <coughs> creating that extra bit of space between our ribs and our hips. <coughs> Excuse me. Shoulders up, back, and press down. So so we've opened the ribcage. And then from there, we're going to take it into our circulation boosting. So, heels lifting off the floor to start off with, getting some regular controlled movement happening. You know that we make it bigger as we go along. So let's take this into a march, lifting the foot clear of the floor, starting to get a bigger movement happening there. 
You might get a little bit of hip discomfort or a little bit of um, fatigue into these muscles in the very top here, our hip flexors. If you do, option is back into a heel raise or a diagonal toe tap forward. Popping just one arm in to start off with. I'm trying to make sure it's the opposite arm to the leg that's moving. And then pause there and take the other arm in. And then when you feel ready for it and comfortable, let's put both arms of both legs in. Driving those elbows backwards so we've got good tall postural position still. We're keeping the maintenance there. We're not leaning back into it. We're keeping ourselves controlled. So it might mean you make the movement a little bit smaller legs wise to uh, help to prevent that bit of fatigue. But we keep good posture. We're looking about two or three minutes for this. Now in a seated position, we can start to make it a little bit bigger with our arms as well if we want to. Start to drive those through and get a bigger movement happening. <clears throat> so as we get to the two minute mark, let's start to bring this down, bring the arms back down, bring them to a pause, make the legs a little bit smaller with that heel raise, and then bring those to a pause, and at which point we might want to take a couple of deep breaths. Okay, let's move into our first movement. And I want to focus into our legs and strength into our legs. So here, what I want us to do is to extend the foot away in front, keep the inside body tall, and then slowly lower the foot down. Yeah, pushing away, and then slowly lowering it down. And we're trying to keep that knee level with where we are and trying not to lean. So try not to lean across, try and keep ourselves tall. As we extend and slowly lower the foot back down. Okay? Now, if we want to challenge ourselves a little bit more in this, while we do that, come up onto the balls of the feet on the other foot, so you've got that calf engaged on the other leg as well. So we're extending up, up onto the ball of the foot, and we're allowing that foot to come down slowly and controlled. Here, we're working into this big muscle here. So this is the one that helps us to get off the toilet, get off the chair, get out in and out of bed, and out the bath, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and when we bring it up onto our toes with that other foot, we'll feel the calf really engage. This is all about walking in stilettos. It's, not. it's all about climbing stairs and stuff like that. We've got that extra bit where you're coming up on that ball of foot and pushing down with that uh, pressure. So if you think about when you come up onto a step, the first movement is going to be your ball of the foot, and then you're going to push down with that to bring yourself up and bring the other foot flat onto the floor on the same step or the step above it. There we go, that is our first movement. The second movement, grab hold of your tins. So I've got tomato, cream of tomato soup, and uh, spaghetti strands. Both from the same supermarket, and you know, it's not normally the case, they're normally from all over the place. But hey, we're doing it today. Right, so from here. I want to work into our shoulders, and the movement we're going to do is take the arms out to the side, bring them into the front, and then lower them back down. So we've got this T-type motion creating, and back down. And we're going to do a few of those one way. So out to the side, level with your shoulders, coming into the front, level with your shoulders, and keeping the arms lengthened. So working into that upper body. And then pause there and let's reverse it. So bring it up in front, take it out to the side, and then bring it down. So up in front, out to the side, and back down. Yeah? So we're rotating through. So we've got this movement lifting up to the front of the shoulders, and then we're rotating out to the side, and then we're lowering down with control. And all the time these movements are with control. So we're not throwing the arms around, we're not allowing the weight to dictate the speed on the lower, we're controlling it. So we're working into our shoulders, the front, the back and the top of the shoulders. Once you've done a few of those and you've mixed it up a little bit, have a pause there and let's take it into a bit of a balance type movement as well at the same time as a bit of a strength movement. So one tin, I want you to try and hold it by the bottom of the tin. The movement we're going to do, sitting tall, we're going to raise up diagonally and we're going to come down and across towards the toe there. And as we do, we're going to hinge in. Yeah? So you might want to just do one side to start off with, or you can have both tins, but only using one at a time. This movement here, with the other hand down by your side, pausing, taking it up the other way, and again, rotating down. 
Now you see I'm adding a little bit extra into there if I, if I want to, by allowing myself to bring the heel off the floor again to engage in that car. That makes it a little bit easier because we're getting an extra bit of length in there and getting that leg out of the way a little bit, all right? But choice is yours. Go with what feels comfortable. Now, if we want to work a little bit harder, we can combine two movements that we did together before. Here, we can extend the hand and extend the leg at the same time and then bring it across towards that toe and lower it back down as we bring the hand back up. We go there, coming across and lower it back down. So we've got a couple of movements happening here at the same time. But again, we're maintaining that good postural position, working into our shoulders, working into the strength into our legs. And there we go, that is your Saturday noon movement snap. Have a great day, stay active, stay mobile, keep crowbarring additional movements as you go through the rest of the day if you can. And I'll see you at some point next week, come on four o'clock, so it'll probably be weekend. I'll see you, so I'll see you at the weekend next week. Have a great week, and I'll see you tomorrow though at 12 o'clock noon. And it will be a, a normal snack, so seated or standing tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you real soon. Toodles.